Hi, my name is Eric Jensen, and I'm currently a resident at the Lyman Correctional Facility, and I'm working on my bachelor's degree, hopefully in furtherance of a degree in medicine. Um, about the uh, Supreme Court ruling, how, um, how did you hear about it? Uh, I called home and Christina answered and she mm -hmm. said uh, the Supreme Court ruled uh, in our favor on uh, Jackson, Miller Jackson. And um, we've been like anticipating that it might happen, mm -hmm. but we weren't sure who was going to go where. Um, Rob, uh, Justice Roberts had sided with juveniles on previous ones, um, and which had made a like a pretty serious majority. So we uh, we thought that maybe we had a chance to get him, but he had already indicated that um, he was probably gone about as far as he was willing to go. So then it was up to whether or not Kennedy was going to make the switch, and um, he did. Mm -hmm. And. Uh, I guess in, uh, in typical Supreme Court fashion, it was not, um, it's not like where it just spells out everything directly. They like to let the states really mm -hmm. handle a lot of the, uh, like, implementation of it, you know, as they do per state. So um, it was really cool to see it happen, but at the same time, we, we knew that there was still a big fight coming over it. You know, there was a lot of, uh, like, a lot of people were super ecstatic over it. Um, uh -huh. You know, and some people took it too far. They were like, oh, everybody's out tomorrow. And I was, you know, I was not, not ever in that camp. But um, uh, I definitely think that it is a, like a huge step forward. And uh, so it was a good day. It was a good good call. You know, everybody was uh, really excited just because it's mm -hmm. like a, like concrete evidence that there's something happening. You know, it's not, um, it's not like, before that, it was always just like, if if something happens, you know, then what will we do? Uh -huh. Now something has happened, so now we are able to. And so, what's the next step? Well, there's two things that are happening. The first is that the um, you're able to challenge, you're able to basically file on under Miller Jackson in court. Okay. Um, so it would just be like an appellate type deal, and. Uh, Assuming that they grant it, which I would assume mm -hmm. is uh, true, then they would send it back to a district court, and a uh, district court would then implement whichever sentence they thought was now relevant. Although there's no actual guideline, it just says it can't mm -hmm. be the life without, yeah. um, or it can't be a mandatory life without anyway. Um, so it's really super wide open. Um, the other, the other avenue, and I think it's probably the more promising avenue at the moment, is um, there's a bill that's going through the legislature, or is about to go through the legislature, and it is uh, basically sets the sentence up for the 50 juveniles in Colorado who caught there, mm -hmm. uh, who had the life sentences, and uh, now are currently don't have any sentence at all, basically. So uh, they have to have it resolved at some point in time. and. Um, the way that they are doing that, hopefully, in the bill and the way that it's structured currently, is uh, just second degree murder instead of first degree murder. And second degree murder has a uh, pretty wide range, which is 16 to 48. Um, and theoretically, the people of the 50 who are less, uh, I guess, who are, have a better chance to make it out there mm -hmm. and uh, who committed, I suppose, less serious. Offenses, even though you know they're all murder, so it's it's hard to get into that. But um, those are the type of things that you could you could possibly see going down to like the lower ranges, you know, 16, 24, 30, something like that. And then uh, the cases that are the most serious, or the people who have made the least progress in their journey, um, you can see those going up to the highest range of that. Um, mm -hmm. And I think that that which is the, the basic intent of the Supreme Court ruling, which is not every person is the same, not every case is the same, and afterwards not everybody responds to it the same way. And uh, having a one-size-fits-all you know, trash can policy is uh, I mean, clearly unconstitutional, but it's stupid mm -hmm. beyond that. So um, 
This gives judges discretion, again, where pro previous to this, if they had zero discretion, it was a prosecutor that uh, you know filed the charges, charged you as an adult, convicted you, and then guaranteed you that your sentence was a life without. So, um, you know, that's concentrating an enormous amount of power in one person who is actually supposed to be an officer of the court and is clearly yeah. not. No, I, I, yeah, I was really surprised when I started uh, looking into it. And, and right. 